This is Ms. Linda. We're going to uh, continue solving IP uh, past paper uh, questions. Uh, today we're going to solve question related to topic uh, five, uh, electricity. So here we have a diagram that shows a potential divider circuit used to measure the electromotive force E of a cell X. Both cells have negligible internal resistance. So I have two cells here. Both of them, they have negligible internal resistance. State what is meant by electromotive force of the cell. Now we have, if we have the simple uh, electric uh, cell consists of what? Consists of acid. Inside the acid, we put two metals, one uh, copper and uh, the other one, uh, for example, uh, zinc. Uh, copper will get excise and lose electrons. When it loses electrons, it will become positively uh, charged. And uh, copper acts as an electron acceptor. So I have a flow of uh, these electrons. The elect flowing of the, the, the electrons will uh, eventually uh, create uh, electric uh, current and the light bulb will glow. Now, what do I mean by uh, electromotive uh, force of uh, uh, of the battery is the potential difference electromotive uh, force is the work done per unit charge how much work how much electric potential energy is done to move this electric uh, 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 charge through uh, through the circuit through the cell Okay, now, so here, this one, what do I mean by electromotive force is work done per unit charge and unit of work joule, unit for charge is column or volt V. Okay, here we have a, a B wire, AB wire. AB is a wire of uniform cross section and length at one meter. So the total length for this wire AB is one meter. The resistance of the wire AB, resistance of the wire AB is 80 ohm. So the total resistance is 80 ohm. The length from A till C is 0.35. 0.35. The current uh, in cell X here, I don't have current in cell X, the current is zero. Okay, show that the resistance of this wire is 28 ohm. Now, if you remember, the resistance depends on the type of material, resistivity, length of the wire, and the cross section area. Now, I have the same wire. So rho is constant, cross-section area is constant, so it will depend on R. If I change the length, resistance will be changed. So the length here, I have the total, the total resistance for wire AB is 80 ohm. This is when the length for AB is 100 centimeter or one meter, uh, one, uh, one meter. For resistance between A and C, I don't know, but I have the length between A and C, which is 0 .30, uh, 0 0.35. So R, if I if I if I need to find R between A and C, will be the total resistance times this length, 0.35 times 80 and let's calculate this one. OK, it will give me 28 ohm. Um, I can explain it with different way as well. OK. We can explain it here. We said R 
we can create a formula basically. Okay. We said R is directly proportional with length. Okay. So I can say R1 over R2 equals L1 over L2. I have R, the total length is one. R2, we don't know. The total, the total, uh, the total resistance is 80 ohm, 80 ohm. R2, we don't know. L1 is one meter and L2 is 0.35. Do cross multiplication to find R2. So R2 will be 80 times 0.35. And this will give me 28. Oh. OK. Now, uh, cell X is replaced by a second coil of identical electromotive force, but the internal resistance now is 2 ohm. Uh, no, before this one. Determine the electromotive force of the battery. Deter the, not the electromotive force. Determine uh, the voltage here. The voltage here. Now, if just let's uh, um, refresh your, your memory a little bit about potential. What do I mean by a potential divider? Potential divider, it's our potentiometer, it allow us to vary the voltage between two resistance. So if I have, for example, the voltage of the battery 12 point volt, and I need uh, some of this voltage to, uh, to to, uh, to function. I need only uh, four or uh, six or three, uh, three volt. So potential divider is step down the voltage. Actually, it vary the voltage. I can get voltage lower than 12 volt. OK, so why do I need the potential divider? For example, if I if I, if I have a light bulb, and I would like to dim uh, my light bulb, the, out, uh, uh, the output uh, voltage. So I can just use the slider back and forth so that the light uh, bulb get dimmer. The voltage, the output voltage will be less than the input voltage. If the input voltage is 12, I can get to, um, only nine out of this 12 to, for this light bulb to work properly. I don't need all of the 12 voltage. If I have any problems that is related to potential divider and always the question, most of the question they will ask you, find the output voltage across this resistance R2. So first step, you have to find the total resistance. Since these two resistance are connected in parallel, so the total resistance will be R1 plus R2. So total resistance will be R1 plus R2. Then you have to find the total current. The total current from Ohm's law, it will be the voltage divided by the total resistance, which is R1 plus R2. If we ignore the voltage of if this is a voltmeter, if we ignore the voltage of voltmeter, the resistance of voltmeter, we can find the output voltage. The output voltage across R2, since they're connected in parallel, they will have the same voltage. So the voltage across R R2 it will be the total current times R2. If we consider the voltage of the voltmeter, this is volt meter in this case i have to find not r2 i have to find r equivalent r equivalent it will be since the the two resistance connected in parallel so i can use this formula to find r equivalent for two resistance in parallel so if i have two resistance in parallel r equivalent will be r1 
times R2 divided by R1 plus R2, or 1 over R will equal 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. I like to use this, uh, this formula. So let's go back here to this one. I need to find uh, E first. I, I should have R equivalent, and we, we know R equivalent is 8. The total resistance is 80 ohm. Second step, we said we have to find the current. So current will be voltage divided by the total, the total uh, R, uh, total resistance. Voltage is a 12 divided by 80, and this will give me 0.15 amp. I need the voltage. Uh, the voltage uh, here, it will be the same as the voltage across uh, the resistance A and C. So E E, okay, we can do it just here. E will be the same as the voltage between A and C, and this will give me the total current times the resistance A and C. Total current, it's 0 0.15 times A, um, resistance A and C, we just calculated it was a 28, and this will give us 4.2 volt. So remember, the steps again, first you have to find R equivalent. This is the first step. Second step, you have to find the total current which is voltage divided by R equivalent. Second step, if they ask you find V out, V out, it's connected in parallel with R2. So if we ignore the voltage or the resistance of the voltmeter, usually this is a voltmeter, so it will be I times R2. If we do not ignore it, if we have a resistance for the voltmeter, in this case, I have to find R equivalent for R2 and and the voltmeter. How can we find it that since they're connected in parallel? We find it using this equation, R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Okay. Now, uh, D, cell X is replaced by a second cell of identical electromotive force, but the internal resistance now is two. Comment on the length uh, AC for which the current in, in the second sense, the current is uh, zero, so that we will have no uh, potential drop across the internal resistance and the length will be the same. Okay, that's it. Uh, next, we'll solve also question on um, electricity.